This is part two to my introduction of uh, my book, which is apparently now the last book that will ever be on Amazon, Kindle, written by me. <clears throat> the last book for me to publish, because apparently they're not going to let me publish anymore. Um, after 100, I guess they say, no more, no more, so, oh well. This is this is introduction to my book called uh, Ra uh, Ramit Before Islam. Yeah, on the cover it shows me when I was nine. Okay, I'll continue. Yeah, here it is. This laptop is almost ten years old. Okay. Anyway, that was a long time ago, taking place in a small town where word got around easily. In the process, it kind of made me the loner I became, and the TV show Kung Fu was something I felt I could very much relate to. As a matter of fact, I got into martial arts and thought they were magical. And, and um, <clears throat> well, magical until my hand went through a karate board like it was nothing. And the Kung Fu master of my high school, he so astounded me by breaking a stack of boards with his head. I easily defeated in a karate sparring match after defeating his friend and assistant, as described in this video. Here's a video. Of that. One thing that was cool about uh, Amazon. You could click on that and then you could see me uh, describing things or see me reading things or or showing a video from David Wood, the Vax 17 Apologetics or uh, Christian Prince or the Apostate Prophet. And you can't do that with a regular book. But with an e-book, you could do that. And that was so cool. And you click on that, you'd see me reading, oh, not reading, but describing this, uh, how, how I became disillusioned in martial arts. Okay. At the time, I thought the world was quite a violent place of bullies and Nazis. It wasn't until I went away to college, after graduating high school, that I began having a different perspective of my fellow human beings. Still, uh, for whatever it was worth, Still, forever it was worth. Experience did its work, and it affected my writings and view of life for a long time. None of my classmates in my class became close friends with me. Those who came the, clo the closest were Paiute Indians, who mostly later all succumbed to alcohol poisoning. Yeah, they're all dead. Mickey Mix, uh, Gary Newman, Jerry Newman, not Gary Newman, Jerry Newman, uh, Joseph, Stephen Joseph, all gone. Yeah. Those who came the closest were Paiute Indians, who mostly they'd also come to alcohol poisoning. One of them wasn't Native American, but Basque and his liver literally exploded outside of his body onto a rug. Another Paiute Indian friend of mine later, claim, later cleaned up. Due to the rug business job he selected, being that he was a JW, and cleaning rugs allowed him easy access to present the watchtower in customers' homes. Out of all my Paiute Indian friends, out of all my Paiute friends, I, there's no Indian. Out of all my Paiute friends, he was the only one who ended up successful on the reservation he lived on. He married a very pretty girl, had a bunch of beautiful and successful children, and I visit him whenever I go back to that town. Right now, though, the only close non-Native American childhood friend I had from that time I was close to, ah, I need to change that, was a neighbor 
and homosexual boy who was very much into Dark Shadows, Elizabeth Taylor, and Star Trek. For a while, I also had another uh, friend who, um, and neighbor, who looked exactly like the actor Nick Adams at that time, but now looks like, he now looks exactly like Donald Pleasance in his later years. Yeah, he went from Nick Adams to Donald Pleasance in uh, uh, Halloween. The Nick Adams was the Bart Simpson of the block. And he... Well, and we had a good time. As far as my gay friend who uh, stayed the longest with me, well, we were very much into science fiction and writing, and writing it together. No, he never made a pass at me. And I didn't know he was gay until his mom nervously told me he was living in he was living on Castro Street. When I called her to find out the address the address of where he was living in San Francisco. Honestly, I did I didn't know he was gay. Even though he sounded very much like Morris the Cat in the old Nine Lives cat food t uh, commercials. Yeah, cat food commercials, yeah. I didn't kick him out of my life for being, uh, when I, uh, for finding out he was to be gay, uh, but he did kick me out of his life when he thought I hated Muslims. His number one boyfriend was a Muslim named Majid. I tried to let him know that I had nothing against Muslims, but liberals, of which he was also, um, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I tried to let him know that I had nothing against Muslims, but liberals, of which he was, which he was also, seemed to think that if you hate a religion, you hate the person of that religion, and thus I just had to hate Muslims no matter how much I tried to say otherwise. And you know, I had a liberal girlfriend who was the same way. Thought I hated Muslims, just because. I, I I couldn't explain to her. I, I don't hate Muslims. I just hate Islam. You know. Oh, you hate Muslims. Yeah, it's strange how she. Oh well. Yeah. Since my liberal gay childhood friend uh, hated Christianity, I can imagine by his logic that he hated me, so I don't care that he discovered me. Uh, so so I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't care that he disowned me back in 2005. Well, not much. Outside of science fiction, we had nothing in common. Didn't. I have some of his unpublished books in my collection and contemplate publishing them, but I won't do that without his permission, even though he may be dead by now. Looking back on it, I don't think he really liked me for one time, a neighbor boy who practically killed me in a wrestling match when I was nine, like you see me on the cover of the book. Yeah. If you see the cover of the book, that's what I looked like when he wrestled me. <laughs> a boy who would... Uh, I'm talking about him. Who would uh, later grow up to be a medical doctor and uh, check my dad for breast cancer. Well, he jumped out from a trench and violently tried to try the same wrestling moves again on me uh, with the slamming onto the ground, etc., this time, though, rubbing my face into asphalt instead of knocking the breath out of me on the wrestling mat. And my gay friend just stood there and did nothing as I called out to help for him to help me. Although gay, my friend was incredibly strong and could have easily kicked this this uh, future medical doctor is asked, but all he did was stand and watch as not only the boy attacked me, but the boy's younger brother as well. So again, I really don't think he liked me. But to write science fiction with... Uh, but to write science fiction with me... Oh, you know something? I better stop here. 
Yeah, I will. Bye.